action. Thank you very much for viewing Mary's web pages. Always delighted to see you. And this one is from Mary did, I don't know how many, maybe over a hundred uh, uh, TV uh, shots on one station alone. That's KUSI in Valley, Dew Ridge Road, San Diego, California. And uh, lovely, lovely people. And this one is now to a Mary's favourite presenters, David Davis and a girl called Bridget Nasso. That's no, N A S O is her last name. And Oh, lovely, them too, yeah, they? and yeah. they call them eye candy. The, 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 the male guys call, call the women the girls eye candy. And boy, they are all beautiful, all of them. And this one is for a special friend of ours. It's for a lady called Trace. I call her Teresa, but Mary calls her Trace. And she lives in San Diego. No name, no background. But, but Trace and her family have been very, very good to Mary over the years. She really have between the help that... Trace's sister gave to Mary and other, other family members and as a matter of fact her brother Jim we went to live with in uh, Chiang Mai in, in Thailand for three weeks uh, her brother Jim sadly he just That's passed away a, a short while ago <laughs> a lovely guy and he got a lovely son there uh, and hopefully uh, the son and everything will be hunky dory and fine uh, Mary's web pages are www.marymalone.com or you can email Mary M Vickers that's M V I C K E R S 44 at hotmail.com oh, you wait a minute you at hotmail.co.uk <laughs> and if there's more videos coming up loads of videos coming up please 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 uh, ring that bell and press the subscribe button quick okay guys in La Jolla, you get a little preview coming up. And back again with us, Irish psychic Mary Malone is going to be here to answer some of your viewer emails. Looking forward to that as always. Plus, predicting your weekend weather. She is well known around the world for her spiritual healing expertise. And joining us this morning to answer some of your questions is... Irish Psychic, Mary Malone, once Mary. again. Good morning, David. Good morning, Bridget. And Thanks. it's lovely to be back for, even if it's only a short while. It's great to have I you. I always look forward to, to coming here. Okay. And good morning, everybody that's out there looking at us. <laughs> we always look <laughs> forward to, to having you here. Thank but you. for some of our viewers who maybe haven't seen you on our, our mm -hmm. show before, talk about how you do your readings. You, you were doing some psychic right. readings for mm -hmm. some emails that came in today. But right. explain how you see what you see. I, I have a gift of being able to read the water like you would read the paper. So it's my guide or my guardian angel that does all the, the writing and the water. And it's very simple what I see. I don't touch cards or anything like that. I never did. But I use, it's a tool, I guess, if you want to call it that, you know, that's able to help me. I get the feeling more than anything else. I can go without, without the water, though, okay. uh, with, the, with the feeling that I would get with the person that would be in the front of me, or even if they were on the phone. Okay. And uh, I try to be as positive as I can. The world isn't really positive, so you have to be very careful, you know, as sure. well as what you tell people, that you wouldn't upset them in any way, you know. And I'm well, like I said, I'm well no known in how I act with the people, and I love the people, and I love God in my own simple way. All right, we have some you questions from, from some viewers you can answer for us, help us, help us right. resolve Maybe. some of their problems mm -hmm. or questions. Yeah. Can I start? I'll start with one from Dolores. Yeah. She says, when is the man of my dreams, the one who's going to knock me off my feet, going to come into my life? Signed, tired of being the president of Lonely Hearts Club. I'm sure a lot of people feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> so many. I'm telling you, there's, there's uh, busloads of them that, that uh, calls me up wanting to know when they're going to settle down. And a lot of it is their own, is their own fault for not meeting the right one. They either uh, get cold feet, as I call it, and, and go away from the relationship that's coming towards them, and we have that free will. Often I see the right person for, <coughs> for, for a, a, a man or a woman, and uh, they'll go out with them for a little while, and for some unknown reason, they'll pull away. And then they meet the wrong one, and everything goes haywire for them. This lady, I would say it'll be March before she meets the right one. She has met a few. Uh, nothing that, that excited her enough to, to say, okay, I'll be with them for the rest of my life or we'll try and make a go of it. It's not going to happen like that. Although I do see uh, she could be a lady that walks a lot. I'm, I'm seeing animals around her. And if that's so, she could meet 
uh, on a beach or uh, walking, walking out. Mm, okay. It'll be a simple way how she'll meet the, the guy in her life. All right. A bit, a bit fussy, I think she is as well. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we can be too careful and miss the boat. Right. Too fussy. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Too fussy. All right. This yeah. one's from Elvira. <laughs> this one's from Elvira. Says my daughter Brenda has not been able to conceive. She is mm -hmm. my older daughter. Can you tell me if she will and right. when? Right. That young woman uh, needs a bit of help, and she should go after the help. It's, it's there, and the second time that she'll have the help, she will be pregnant. She may have twins. Wow. I see two. I see two children. I see girls rather than boys. In the next couple of years. I would say, no, no. I would say that the next. I get, I just get fourteen months, fourteen weeks, fourteen is there around her, and I'm going to give her again April or May of next year. It's up to herself. She can come closer to that if she wants. Okay. See, there's no there's no time limit in the spirit side, you say, and uh, so it's hard for me at times to give a date. But she will be pregnant and she'll have those children. Well, good news God there. God bless her. Okay, <laughs> this one's from Stephanie. One of my pets just disappeared a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. during the daytime. Is she safe and is she's, she alive? She's, a block, she's in a block and a half away. Yeah. And there's a two on the door where I see, see that. A two? And a, a, two, a number two. Mm -hmm. There's other numbers, but the two, it starts with a two. Uh, I don't know whether she'll get it back or not. I think she might do. And it's only a mite, but the cat, uh, is it a cat? Mm. Mm. Pets. Yeah, pets, yeah. Pets. So I think it's a cat though. Cat uh, is not like a dog. Mm -hmm. Doesn't come back. If it goes away, you won't, you may not get it back. But it's only it's only a block and a half away. Okay. Speaking of cats, <laughs> speaking of relationships, <laughs> right. uh, this one. My 26 year old daughter is looking for a husband, looking for a nice guy to build a lasting relationship with. She's independent, professional young lady. It's not that she can't get a date, but the men she's dated have a way too much baggage. She's <laughs> just about ready to throw in the towel and raise cats. <laughs> <laughs> I told her Go the right cats. guy. When the right guy comes along, yeah. she'll know. It. What lighten, do you think? lighten up a little bit. <laughs> she will meet the right fella. She'll meet a guy named Mike or Michael. Uh, he'll be a businessman and a little bit older than herself. She's uh, very professional, she's, ver she's really lovely, and I don't want her to have an ego about it all. And uh, to take her time, not, not to push the relationship as if this is the la you know, this is my last days, I'm not going, never going to meet anybody. She's, um, she's negative when, it, when the, when she, it's like, it's like walking into a wall with her. She just, like they said, she throws the towel in too quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Right. One more from Don't throw in the towel. Another no, one from Teresa. <laughs> Again, a relationship question. 47-year-old widow. Uh, she is. Uh, I have met a wonderful man. He's 39. He lives in Orange County. She lives here. We have much spiritually and interest in common. Not known him very long. We both feel that we may have walked together before. Do you think there's a chance mm. for this relationship, or should they move on? Right. No, I think that they should try and, and grow into that relationship. Um, they have met before, but not here on earth. Uh, they're sole partners. Uh, and again, I want to say to her, take her time. I don't want her to give her home up. I don't want to give her job up, but to keep in touch, to see one another as often as they can and let it grow in that kind of love. Mm -hmm. He does love her, that, la that uh, young man. Right. You, you have one question. I have a final relationship <laughs> question. <laughs> right, a relationship yeah. with me and my motorcycle, my Harley. <laughs> My Harley was stolen about six weeks ago now, oh. and uh, it's gone. And I don't know, is it permanently gone? And do you think that I see I'll it down be getting by a lake. Down by a lake, mm -hmm. in one piece? Yeah, it's in one piece, but there's two, pe two men around it, two young men around it. Did it go from a, a near home? Uh, no, it was stolen was it? away from home in, in Ocean Beach. Oh, a near water. N very near water. It's still a near water. Really? Mm -hmm. It's in one piece. And I, yes, in one piece. And I would, um, I would have a spin around. You just might be lucky enough. And I'm not saying that, that, that it will come back into your hands again, but mm -hmm. you just might be lucky enough to see it. Okay. I'll start there's, driving there's today. One, there's one <laughs> guy with long hair around I'm it. sorry? One guy with long hair around really? it. Mm-hmm. Mm, I don't like um, that man. <laughs> well, they haven't done any harm to them. It's okay. well, that's, that's very important. That's well, that's yeah. encouraging. I thought for sure it was in a million pieces. <laughs> With that, we want to make a quick mention. We had so many emails, and we always do when you come on. You're also now doing a radio program I'm as doing, well. I'm locally. doing a radio show in Carlsbad, and it's every Sunday at 9 o'clock, and it's AM 1000. 
and anybody that wants to listen in on a Sunday morning and I can talk to them from wherever I am in the world. Oh, oh, oh yeah. wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And marymalone.com, of course, is all. That's Great right. seeing you. Thank it's you very much. Thanks, David. It's lovely always, to be here. Always God nice to see you. Okay. Well, this creative artist is making a special appearance. We'll show you where in San Diego you can go to meet Peter Max and take a look at some of his beautiful art. Ooh, that's very exciting. And actor and comedian Eddie Murphy not laughing right now. What he said.